This is code.org, and let's get started on some of these practice problems. You've got this. What should your increment be? Remember, that's the last number. When they say increment, don't let that scare you. Right here, for a counter from 1 to 10, count by 1. This 1 here, that's what an increment is. So what they're saying, they're using technical terms, but what should your increment be? An increment's the amount you change each time for collecting 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 nectar. Well, wait a minute. Don't they kind of give it away? What number are we starting with? 3. And then what number? 6, 9, 12. What are they adding each time? What are they incrementing their number by? Well, 3 to 6 is 3. 6 to 9 is 3. 9 to 12 is 3. So that's a big hint. So I know right away it's probably going to be 3. I want to visualize this first with you, which I do so much. It helps so much. That is why. So I'm just going to not use a loop and throw it out code. Move forward 1, then what? Turn right, right? And then, and you can always test with step. Boop. Okay. Yep. Now what? Okay. No, I'm not stuck. Move forward again, right? And then what? Hmm. Well, knowing that we might loop this, and it's going to be like a staircase, I'm going to go ahead, and when we move forward again, turn right. I just like the format. So forward, right, forward, or is that it's forward, left, stairs. There we are. Okay, and that should get us here. Now, once we're on this flower, what do we want to do? Collect. Let me get more of this code down, and then I'm going to talk through some of it with you. I can tell you, this is already way too much code. We're way over. But what this is helping me do is seeing what we need. Move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left. Move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left. Get six. So this is obviously repeating. The thing that's changing that varies that could use counter is our get nectar, like we've seen before. I'm going to plop this in our counter. Get rid of this part. As we've discussed, right, we're incrementing by three. So we would want to go up by three each time. The problem is, is we cannot start with one. Here's why. You're not going to see it. We also need to get our repeat in here. Goodbye, right? Just like we've been doing repeat how many times? However much counter is currently equal to. Now you'll see the issue. Missed it. And that's because counter started at one. And then we counted up by three. So starter counts at one. I want to go through. Step, right? Yep, yep. Count, counters one right now, so we get one, hits the bottom, says, yep, we counted one, goes back to the top. One, counting up by three, is now four, so now we're going to go forward once, turn right once, forward once, left once. Now we have to repeat this four times. We get one, two, three, four, next, and you can tell because that was a six, now it's a two. So we not only need to count up by three, we need to say we got to start it three. This still doesn't do it, though, because we got to go all the way up to 15. So 3, 2, now we should do it. Keep in mind, I'm going to hit reset. This is not the only right answer. That isn't how code works. Watch. I'm going to this up. Quapow. Right? And so what you really need to understand here, guys, is counter is from, and let me hit run on that. Counter starts at 3, it goes to 15. The only stuff that gets repeated by this number is this. This is what's getting control. It's fine either way. So again, counter, this for loop actually only runs, let's see, 3 to 15. So we 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. The entire loop only runs 5 times. Now how then do we get all of this stuff? Well, we go, and I want to put it back to how I was, that's how I prefer it, we go through five steps, right? One, two, three, four, five. And that's what this first part does. This stuff that gets repeated inside of our for loop is controlled by counter. Counter is what's equal to three, six, nine, twelve, and fifteen. And that's how we're collecting all the nectar. However, once again, the entire loop is technically only run five times. The stuff in this repeat is run more. Anyways, victory. Let's see what else we have here. Increments. If your loop, if your loop is counting down, the increment is subtracted from the counter variable each time through. 
what should your increment be to collect 15, then 12, then 9, then 6, then 3? So guys, right away, look at this pattern. 15 to 12, what is that? What about 12 to 9? And if you're not the best at subtraction, let's start at 3. If I have 3 and I want to get to 6, how much do I have to add? If I have 6, I want to get to 9, right? So we're moving by 3, except we need to subtract because we start at 15. So before I even do that, though, I want this clear for my steps. We know we have seen steps before, and it's a repeated pattern. I'm going to start there. So here's my B. Obviously, I guess I would need to turn left, forward, right, forward, and let's see, left, forward, right, and always use step. It's super easy to debug this way, forward. Okay, so at least I got the movement going correctly. And then how many steps are there? I don't know, maybe five, right? So if I use a loop here, I could always do it this way. This is not the way we're going to do it, but I could, right? Because there's five different steps. So I know if I put everything in this pink mouth thing, I'll run through this five times. Left, forward, right, forward, hit the bottom, back to the top, I'll turn left again, and I'll be able to get through my stairs because I'll run all that five times in a row. Well, wait a minute. Yep, there we are. So I got through the stairs. Now that's not sufficient, right? We need to collect this. Now how do we do that? We know we want to use a for loop. So I'm going to get rid of my repeat, go into loops, and grab a for loop. Now they gave us some good information. We want to be subtracting. What do we want to start with? It says right here, 15. So from 15, where are we going towards? Well, what's the last number? 3. And what did we say we're going to step by? Three, right? So think about this. Think about this. If we're stepping by three, okay, so 15, ooh, that's rough, divided by three is equal to five. So our first step will be 15, then we subtract three, our next step is 12, but yikes, maybe that was not my best work. But at the end of the day, it will only be five steps. Let me show you what I mean. If I am counting by three and I start at 15 and I'm going down to three, well, how many times is that going to run? 15, then 12, then 9, then 6, and then 3. So it will still run five times. But now I can use this variable counter to pick up how many uh, nectars there are. So actions, loops repeat counter times now where will i want this i can step through and see so i'm going to go left then forward then right and forward so i think i'll need it right here and then what am i going to want to do i'm going to want to get the nectar now the first time through let's see i should be able to actually let me hit run so now counter this first time through is 15 so i get all 15 i hit to the bottom i go through all this once now, once we go through it once, counter comes back up here and it says, okay, counter is 15. I count down by 3 until I get to the number 3. Well, 15 minus 3 is 12. So now counter is 12. I loop through this again, left, forward, right, counter 12 times. So I pick up this 12 nectar, hit the bottom. 12 minus 3 is 9. Go through again, pick up 9. 9 minus 3 is 6. Go through this again. Now do this 6 times. Pick up all that. Hit the bottom again. 6 minus 3 is 3. Go through this one time. Hit this. Pick up 3 nectar. Hit the bottom again. 3 minus 3 is 0. Wait a minute. 0 is not in between these, and I'm done. Ta-da! All right, let's try variables. Here we are. Counter variable twice to solve this puzzle. Use it twice. Okay, let's just start. I know I need to move down. And then what? I'm going to want to get nectar right there. Now I'm going to move down two. Get how many nectars? Two. Then what? Well, I'm going to move down three. And get three nectar. One, three. So now I've already used 13 blocks. So where could I make this better? I can definitely use loops here. What am I counting by? One, two, three. Well, I'm only going up by one, aren't I? So, okay, that's pretty easy. Counter one, two. How high do I need to get? Well, the most I have down here is three. So I'm going to say one to three, maybe, and I'll count up by one. Okay. 
Now, for this, the first one, I'm only going to need to go forward once and get nectar once, right? The second one, though, I'm going to need to go forward how many times? Two times, right? Once, get one nectar, cha. Now, I hit the bottom of this. Counter was just one, so counter was one. One plus one is two. Counter is now two. I'll move forward one time. We have a problem. I need to move forward again. So to tell the computer that I need to move forward again, right, because I need to move forward twice, well, perfect. Guess what already equals two? Counter, because we're on our second one. So now I can just grab this guy here, because it already is going to be equal to two this time around, and say, oop, yeah, I actually want to move forward counter times. Now let's see. So now I'll counter when we start, counter from one to three. So counter is one, go ahead and start, repeat one time, move forward. I'll move forward once, I'll get one nectar, I'll hit the bottom. Counter is counted up by one, so one plus one is two. So now I move forward once, I hit the bottom, counter is now two, right? So in this inner loop, I can do it again. Now I'll get one nectar, but we have a problem. I just left nectar there. Well, thankfully, we can use this loop again. Now, I'll do this twice, I'll do this twice, we'll hit the bottom with counter being two, we'll add one to it, counter's now three, I'll move forward three times, I'll get three nectar, and then at three we're done, so we drop below the loop. Perfect. Onward. Let's see what we have. All right, now let's combine the counter variable with the math block. How can you use the counter variable to navigate this garden with the fewest number of blocks possible? My goodness. So I can see it's one, two, three, four, five, seven. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn left, forward, and then what? Get nectar. How many times I get in and get nectar? Three, six, nine. So it goes up by three each time. That's going to be a big clue to me right there. So I'm going to head over here and say I'm going to start with three and I'm going to go to 15. And then each time, three to six, we're going up by three each time. Cool. And now, ooh, this is cool. We have a math block. I am debating. So we could also just multiply this by three. There's a few correct answers for this I could tell you right away. One, two, five, and I'm going to go up by one. And the reason I'm doing this one to five is because that's one step, then what, two steps, then how many, one, two, three steps, then what, four steps, then what, five steps. So one to five, go up by one, and then I can go ahead, guys, and what we can do now is, let's think about this, I can turn left, okay, and then move forward. Now the first time I'm only going to need one step. Turn left, move forward. But now what? Well, I'll go up by one, so counter's now two. I'll turn left, but I need to move forward twice. Well, counter's two, thankfully. So now that we have that, I can go ahead oops, and use repeat counter times, because counter will be set to two. And the first time counter's one, so we'll only go forward once, but now we'll go forward twice here, because counter's two, then counter goes up to three. So that will get us all the way around. The issue is, obviously, we need to get this nectar. So what else can I do to get all that nectar? Let me grab another repeat. And <clears throat> this is where we'll hit a problem. Because counter is only going to be one, right? I decided to set it to the amount of steps. There's three, though, here. So what I can do is use our math block. And I could pull out counter, drop it here, do this. And so now every time, the first time's one step and three, the second time's two steps and six, three steps and nine. So what if I were to multiply this? by three actions. So now counter times three, if every single time I multiply it by three, well, we'll go one step and then we'll be able to get this th enough times. This is gonna work. I wanna show you one other way. This is correct, but you could also say like Mr. Kaiser, mm. okay, but, uh, but also replay. You could also do it this way. Say you wanted to do it the original way I was saying. We could totally do, and this is what's so great about code, it's more than one way to get it cracked. You could totally do three to 15, right? You see that nectar there, and then you're like, I'm gonna go up by three. 100% right, you can absolutely do this. And then, 
since you're starting with three and this nectar's three, you would want to get nectar counter times, but then for moving, you would want to do counter divided by three. Same deal. I love code. There's more than one way to be correct. Victory!